Hey, Liz, so you've been calendar-wise here for a bit now. Are there any similarities you've seen or differences behind the scenes between Ray Steffo, Dana, Scott Coker? Um, I think similarities in the sense that um, just the way that they speak to fighters. You know, I can definitely see some differences. I, you know, we're not seeing... Dana very much has a voice, and he's very good about stating his opinion. If he doesn't like you as a fighter, the whole world knows he doesn't like you as a fighter. If he loves you as a fighter, the same thing. Whereas I see Ray and I see Scott very much removing themselves and playing Switzerland. They aren't throwing any fighters in, in that way. You don't get to see if they don't like you or they do like you. You don't really know it. They, they play it very fairly, and that's definitely something I like about Bellator and I like about PFL. Now, you've talked in the past about the positive side to CBD. Do you see any disadvantages to athletes using CBD? You know, I, I haven't seen any at all. I haven't seen any disadvantages to fighters using CBD. I think the only thing could be is that um, if you use a product that maybe has an oil that you don't agree with, like let's say it has peanut oil, like that can be really bad for an athlete, <laughs> you know, and I, I think it's, it's simply that and um, I've seen more benefits like full spectrum CBD as opposed to not full spectrum CBD. Um, so I think those would be really the differences, but sometimes there's just ingredients that don't mix well with people. And I think that's really just where it gets into it. Or you get a gummy, it's like, okay, cool, it's a gummy, but it has 26 grams of sugar. That's not good for you, right? You have to kind of stick with the healthier side. And so often we'd be like, oh, this is a healthy thing. Like it's like having fried asparagus. It's a vegetable, but you kind of lost all the nutritional value once you fry it and stuff. It's the same thing. And I think the only thing that hurts us is seeing something healthy and then letting it be masked by all the other crap that can go on it. Now, just out of curiosity, um, yes, you're from Japan, but you're born from Louisiana. Recently, Dustin Poirier's had a bad streak going. Dana said he'd think about having him retire. He's starting to consider it. Do you think at this point Dustin should possibly walk away? I'm not falling with any of that stuff. Yeah, and like as far as like uh, the Louisiana thing, I was really just born there. My, my dad's side of the family is from there, and I've, I've visited. But um, as far as the roots of connection, my roots and connection really are Japan. Um, but I try and just stay out of the world of MMA, and I have no idea what's going on with Dustin or anyone else. I mean, you can tell me like, oh, yeah, that person just died yesterday, and I probably wouldn't know. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Canada's only lost to you and to Alimale. You have a connection with Alimale. How many notes have you guys compared coming into this camp? I mean, I was cage side watching the fight. You know, in, in my mind, um, at that time, I was defending the belt. And I knew that the results, because I was number one and number two, depending on how their fight went, would decide who'd be the contender that I'd be facing. So I was there cage side, and it kind of split, like... I want my friend to succeed and I want her to win, but I also don't want to face my friend. So in that weird position, and I don't necessarily want to support Kana, but I'd rather face Kana than Nalima. And then, you know, like that weird place. So I was there watching and being very diligent about seeing what Kana was doing well, what Alima was doing well, what they both would be able to capitalize on and took a lot away from that fight and being able to apply that into it. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey Liz, you've put forth some